Hey everyone, and welcome back to uh, Kerbal Space Program with the two Rocket Guys. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and announce um, our competition for our 1,000 subscriber mark. Uh, we're pretty excited about this, and we've been thinking about it for a while. Uh, so without further ado, as always, let's just jump right into it. Now, while we're making our way up uh, to orbit here, um, from both S and I, we just want to we want to thank you guys so very much. Uh, like I said, I mean, it just feels like yesterday that we started um, the uh, the Moon Base series and the Duna Outpost series, and and I think I, wow, I mean, I, I believe we had maybe 200 subscribers or something like that, and and all of a sudden we've reached uh, 1,000. So we want to thank you guys, um, and in turn. We are announcing our uh, subscriber space station. Now, I know you've probably seen some other um, stations uh, kind of like this on YouTube or anything like that. Um, but we're going to kind of do ours a little bit different, and we'll have some rules here in a bit. Uh, but this is the basic station here, um, getting it into orbit. It's, it's very basic right now. It's just your very, very core, basic, simple um, design. Now, as you can see, we'll have a, a total of uh, six free docking ports. We've got some power on there. We've got a single uh, RTG just just to kind of uh, supply uh, the module until you know everybody starts bringing stuff up to it. But for now, it's going to be unmanned. Now, the goal here is to basically encourage each and every one of our subscribers to to contribute. Um, we're going to come up with sort of a uh, kind of like a theme, if you will. Um, for each individual part that we're going to do, we'll probably do, I think we can do probably maybe, maybe four or five different phases, um, you know, kind of fill up all the ports or depending on what you guys build and put onto it, maybe more. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what kind of feedback we get from you guys. But basically there's going to be different phases of, of different things we're going to need on the station, uh, which we'll announce at different times. And we're going to select, um, based on your contributions. Um, whether that be via you know the persistence file or you actually do a video and you you know you upload that to YouTube and both, uh, we're gonna select um, whatever S and I agree on on, on I guess the best module uh, for that phase, and we're gonna keep it attached to the station and then move on to the next phase. So um, I, I guess the point here is we want to have a craft that's basically built by you guys. Um, I think our intent in the future with this, we're gonna keep it around, obviously. Um, I personally would like to use it as my kind of base station around Kerbin for, you know, whatever we move on to do, whether that be, you know, when the resource mining comes out or whatever the case may be. Now, uh, apart from a few general rules, which S will get to here in just a second, uh, I just want to go over the basics here. Uh, we've already talked about what's on the station itself. You can see that there is a single um, crew tank, uh, but like I said, it's going to be unmanned for now. Uh, we've got some RCS on there. Um, but you know, that's, that's basically it. We have no fuel, uh, you know, storage capability. Um, I mean, there's a single dish on there that you'll see here in a minute, which is for calm, but, um, so we're not going to have any communications. We're not going to have any fuel. We're not going to have any power except for that single RTG, but obviously that's not going to be enough to support what we'd like to do on this station. We we're basically going to turn to you guys to develop everything here. Now we haven't really laid out each individual phase uh, that I mentioned before. But you can generally assume um, that it's probably going to go along those lines of you know fuel storage, power generation, um, etc. Um, now we're going to park this thing here. Uh, as you can see, we're doing a little work. Uh, we're going to park it at about a, I think I end up at about 212 by 209 maybe or something like that. Um, and the whole, whole reason for that is, you know, just if you have it too low, um, obviously it's going gonna, it's gonna to fall out of the sky and it's going to burn up. Or well, not burn up, but you guys, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but we want to keep it pretty high up there, uh, just to kind of stay out of the way of things, um, especially if we have other stuff going on eventually, uh, which we'll think about way on down the road. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see here. I think our final orbit, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty close. We'll call it about, well, well 200 or so. So when you guys are actually planning on sending these modules up, um, you just plan accordingly. It shouldn't be too difficult to get something up there, especially if it's not the largest thing, uh, which, um, well, I'm not going to deter 
you know anything here but um, just plan accordingly and uh, you use your imagination the sky's the limit quite literally and uh, we, we're really looking forward to what you guys have to offer um, and getting you guys involved here like I said we've, we've seen some other stations like this on YouTube um, but I think they're a little bit confined um, I like the idea of actually opening up to every single one of you guys um, and, and really picking the best that we see fit and then carrying on with that design in the future. Um, I think that not only can uh, it help us in our, our utilization of, of the station itself, but uh, it can help get the word out for, for a lot of guys out there that, that, uh, you know, that are doing some great work in KSP. Now, without uh, further ado, uh, we're going to hand it over to S. He's going to go over our ground rules, and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys at the end. All right, here are the rules. You must design, launch, and dock the part yourself. No persistence file editing, hyper edit, or cheating of any kind. Um, obviously, we don't have any way to monitor this, but just just be honest and uh, build a module and get it into orbit yourself. Uh, just be realistic. Um, no mod parts. This includes MechJeb or Flight Engineer or any anything that requires a mod part at all. Um, I'm, we're sorry for this rule, but we want everyone to be able to participate, and we don't want to require that certain people get this mod in order to get to the next stage of the station. We uh, want to build a really fun vanilla station. Um, don't over-design the parts too much, uh, and this is only to prevent lag. We don't want one module lagging the station beyond a playable level. Uh, we're not going to impose a hard part limit, but just, you know, be reasonable. Don't don't bring up this huge, complicated thing with 3,000 dishes on it. I don't know, just, just keep it down. Um, but on the same note, we want you guys to be really creative. We're probably going to pick the most creative parts. Um, I don't know, just try something that you've never tried before. Build something completely new and enjoy the challenge of getting it into orbit. Um, and the final rule, oh, actually there are a couple more rules, sorry. Um, station should be the only ship in the tracking station unless we say otherwise, like maybe we want a communication network or something like that, but that's just a suggestion. Um, no, the station should be the only ship that we can see in the tracking station. Um, other rules, you must be a subscriber um, but you're probably, if you're seeing this video, you're probably a subscriber anyway, so that doesn't really matter all that much. Um, and, oh, and the final rule is that we would like you to post your persistence file once you're done with it on, um, Mediafire or something of the sort, some file sharing service like that, and either send it in a message to us or post it in the comments of the appropriate video. Um, and here we have a few guidelines. Um, we'd like to clear any excess debris away from the station and its orbit. If necessary, um, go to it from the from the map screen and end its flight, because debris is a problem sometimes if you don't handle it. Um, name the modules whatever you want. Uh, name it after yourself or your YouTube channel, um, any particular Kerbal you're fond of, whatever. I mean, this is a contest for you guys, so you guys should have some fun with the names. Okay, so there's our rules. Uh, if anybody has any questions about those, uh, obviously we'll put them in the comments, but feel free to send us a message or comment on a video. We read them all anyway, um, and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Uh, so we'll announce now the first phase of this project will be power generation. So go ahead and uh, get to work, uh, launch the modules, and uh, we'll see what you guys can do. Okay, everyone, uh, there it is. Good luck. Uh, we can't wait to see what you guys have, uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.